Hello everyone, welcome to the third edition of L36DSN. I'm your host, Jason L36, and so let's get down right to it. Our topics today will be the mini tournament hosted by Hot Wheels Calgary, going to be the final tournament, the final races on the Bird Co. Raceway. Here are the six cars that will be racing in the mini tournament coming up tomorrow. We'll be comparing the times of each of these cars to see who is the most likely to win. Now we're going to be going over how I recorded this in the first place. What I did was take a race from each of the cars that qualified and slowed it down to 0.25 times on YouTube to see their times, their real times, and then divided that time by four to see their actual real time in the real speed. The raceway is a drag track featuring four lanes, most of it being downhill, over 20 feet in length. So this will be excited for some extremely fast racing tomorrow. If you take a look at our number one car, the Ford F-150, getting a time of 2.34 seconds. The second car to qualify for the mini tournament is a Dodge Compton car number one, coming in at 2.315 seconds. Next up with the Bubba Manic with a time of 2.35 seconds, the slowest out of the six cars today. The fourth car to qualify for the mini tournament is the Cadillac Estee, coming in with a 2.32 seconds, the fourth fastest car out of the six. The second Ford F-150 in the tournament, this car comes in with 2.3075 seconds. Final car in the mini tournament, the Dodge Concept car, the second one, comes in with 2.31 seconds. Set. And yep, that one just need another win. No way to say farewell to the Bird Co. Raceway. Stay tuned for Hollywood Cackery's new series, the Track Pro Tour Series. Not Pro Tour Series, just Tour Series. As we head to a new track each week to get your points for the points run. And that's not all with Hollywood Cackery's new plans for his upcoming new track. We can't wait to see what will happen next. Pick for the mini tournament is the Ford F-150, the second one, number five of the qualifiers. Speaking of Hot Wheels Calgary, the mixture series, race one on this channel has All fine third, Hot Wheels Calgary proved to be a threat to the winner, but unfortunately in the first lap gets bumped into a guardrail by David S. He rolls a six and will be sent back, but at the back of the line, but lap one does manage to overtake so many cars going from 15th place the sixth place it going into lap two. Here, David S is being pained again, bumps into Raw Fruitful Fightful, making Geometric Gaming and Hot Wheels Calgary stuck behind, allowing cars from the mid pack to pass them. As you can see right here, a lot will pass, and it seems like a normal race. A crash behind the two racers in last place will allow Hot Wheels Calgary to get a second chance in lap two. This allows them to get in sixth place. And a huge traffic jam starts behind everyone else with him. After another caution, Hot Wheels Calgary will bump their varies off the track, giving him fifth place. Another caution is caused by El Tunador Flames, who wrecks Duke in the NASCAR. This allows El Tunador Flames to get sixth place on the lap two. Now this is where I get word for Hot Wheels Calgary. He gets wrecked by El Tunador Flames. Hot El Tunador Flames will get past him. Hot Wheels Calgary rolls a one on his die, and we will have to say bid farewell to the Chevelle Wagon SS until race number five. So he's gonna get his replacement car, which is the Scorcher. Get used to seeing that thing. It's gonna be here for a long time. In the lap restart, Hot Wheels Calgary passes Nate H and El Tunador Flames with just pure speed. Certainly comes from his background in drag racing. Another caution appears, this time for Timothy N. As we head into lap 2 restart, he tries to make a move but is blocked by David S. As we head into lap 3, and we go into slow motion here, as we see, Hawkins Curry almost gets past Jackie L58. But is blocked. He gets very close though. Hot Wheels Calgary definitely making a statement of pushing Jackie L58 onto the guardrail. On lap 4, Hot Wheels Calgary draft the rail two to get past Jackie L58 on the 4th lap. Head into the final lap, Hot Wheels Calgary needs to make one last move to secure the win. Is it? 
Always Cry Green cannot get past Route C. Or was that the end of it? The back of the pack wreck, and according to Jason's rules, every single driver will have to restart for the caution as the yellow flag is out and the checkered flag doesn't matter. This is Hot Wheels Calgary's final chance. Can he do it? Can he get redemption from his subpar performance at King of the Garden 2019 and his suffering a heart wrench and crash at the March Break Tournament 2019 resulting in a third place finish? We justify his qualifying time of being third on the leaderboard. We will get revenge against Rousey who got second place at the March Break Tournament in 2019. The one who caused him the crash. How will Calgary speeds up, but what would be enough to get him the win? He's on the outside and ahead, but it's easier to defend on the inside of the track. Will Rose see wreck Calgary and defend his first place? No, Hot Wheels Calgary will push Rousey against the guardrail, making him lose enough momentum from the pass. What a move! That's the most unprofessional way to tell a story of Hot Wheels Calgary winning the first race of the mixture series. Another great highlight is Duke in his 2015 MX5 Mazda Miata. Who in the last lap after that caution, which well, he was actually not the cause, but one of the victims of the caution in the crash last time, manages to pass seven places to get from 14th to 7th place. Great highlight in my opinion. So uh, I, I was going to do a, a section of this video of report on who would win the finals at the free bot maker classic star car tournament sponsored by nero 62 but he uploaded the finals a day early on friday the one time you don't want him to upload he does wow so i guess uh well here's a reminder of my pick for the mini tournament so favorite moment from the Scorpio Smith this video race video of a battle between the free anniversary sets probably my favorite moment I'll make sure to check them out in the description below along with everyone else along with Hot Wheels Calgary and 3D Botnik just gonna give you a sneak peek of what might be coming in the near future to the Jason L36 racing channel and the mixture series until next time I don't know what to say